Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video we are going to learn PGP file encryption in Automation Anywhere 360. PGP, which stands for Pretty Good Privacy, is a data encryption and decryption program that provides cryptographic privacy and authentication for data communication. It's commonly used for securing emails, files, and other forms of communication. Suppose we have a file that contains highly sensitive data and our requirement is to encrypt it. To accomplish this in Automation Anywhere, we will utilize the PGP package, which includes three actions, encrypt, decrypt, and create keys. Let's take encrypt action first. In the encryption type, we have two options, passphrase and public key. Let's select passphrase first. It uses the provided string to encrypt the file. Only this passphrase can decrypt the file. Automation Anywhere supports many commonly used encryption algorithm. You can select anyone as per your need. In source, select the file or folder you want to encrypt. In destination, provide the path to store encrypted file with suitable name. Tick the override option to replace already existing files with same name. You can also compress the encrypted file if needed. Armor data option, stores encrypted data in a sky format. I will show the difference in later part of the video. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see, a file has been created at specified location. If we open it, the contents are gibberish. These characters cannot be shared over the email if required since they are not in alphanumeric format. To do this, we have to select Armor Data checkbox. This will encrypt data in a sky format using alphanumeric and special characters. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see, encrypted file contains alphanumeric values which can be shared easily. Now let us learn how to decrypt this file. Take decrypt file action. It has similar options like we saw in encrypt file action. Provide the same passphrase we used while encrypting file. Source file will be the encrypted file and destination will be the file path you want to store decrypted file. Select override option to replace pre-existing file with same name. Now if you had selected extension option while encrypting it, then the same should be specified while decrypting the file. In this example, I will keep it blank. Let's save and run the bot. As you can see, we are able to get our original file. Now let us learn how to use create key action. Create key action create two key files. Public and private. Public key is used for encryption and private key is used for decryption. Both these files are text files. Automation Anywhere provides option to add password to protect private key. In this example I will be using the same. Let's save and run the bot. Let's check our folder. You can find public and private key files. Now, let's attempt encrypting and decrypting a file using keys. Everything in both actions will remain the same, except in the encryption type section. Specify the public key file location in the encrypt file action, and in the decrypt file action, select the private key file. Don't forget to provide the password for decrypting the file.
let's save and run the bot. Our bot ran successfully. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and click the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest content. Check out more videos on our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.